I've got some ideas in in uh, in my head with regards to targets. Um, there's two or three things that I, you know we can't do at the moment. Uh, I've got no leaf on the tree, so I need to you know to know what backgrounds I'm throwing targets into. Um, what I do know is that Promatic and CCI are fully on board, and and you know they I've, I've spoken to Johnny. Uh, Goodhart at CCI and you know we might even produce a new coloured target for certain backgrounds uh, if required um, so you know to have that sort of backup and 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 you know behind me is is fantastic Promatic obviously uh, with their trap support and you know team that they send down is is going to be brilliant so there shouldn't be too many breakdowns um, we're slightly constrained with footpaths on the estate, although I want to try and take the the, the world championship course to uh, s perhaps a few stands to certain areas that have never been shot before. I think that'd be quite nice. Certain areas will be areas that have been used purely and simply because of footpaths. Um, and as I say, it, the, the targets themselves uh, you have to cater for everybody. It's not just about the top 100 shots in the world. It's about everybody from C-class shooters right the way through, ladies, juniors, super vets, everybody. Everybody's got to go there and feel as though they've had value for money. So, you know, I think probably there will be... I, I hope to, to do a, a signature stand at the end where you shoot four singles on your last stand. Uh, that may be during the course if a, if a better piece of ground opens up. But I'd like to think that each course will have one stand of four singles. Um, and it will be certainly ten stands for all uh, classes that they will enjoy but, you know, stand a very good chance of breaking. And then I think there'll be three stands during the course which hopefully will split the... Uh, Men from the boys.